Hello again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is short subject number 20, and it's strictly an experiment. And in this video, I'm going to see how accurately I can turn down a piece of aluminum, a piece of stock, using a calipers rather than a micrometer, and then after I'm satisfied with the dimension that I have uh, machined with this, I will check it with a real micrometer. Now what prompted this is that I often watch these channels that are over in Pakistan or India or someplace, I'm not even sure where, but rather skilled machinists working in very crude conditions are doing accurate work using calipers, both inside and out even for press fits of bearings and so on. And to be honest with you, I've never done that. I have done it with wood, but never with metal because I, I have 50 micrometers. Why would I do this? Well, I just want to see how accurate I can do. And this is strictly a, an experiment and a learning curve. So let's begin. I have loads of outside calipers and I have always consider these to be semi-precision tools, not precision tools, but maybe I'm wrong on that, but I'm going to use this size right here, and I'm taking one inch aluminum, and it will go over to the closing lathe, and I'm going to turn it, just maybe a, a one inch step, checking it with a caliper until I am satisfied that I am on my setting here, and then I'll double check with a micrometer, to see how close I am and I'll do that several times using different size gauge blocks that I have laid out. So I'll start with 900, this is a 900, that's an 800, 900, and 950. I guess I'm not using that one. So. Okay, here's my MO. This is 950 thousandths and this is 10,000 so I would like to get down to 960 and then I'll zero in and try to get the 950 and I have set this so there's just a little bit of drag let's go over to the lathe I'm going to be using the diamond tool I've never used it before in a video, I don't believe, and I think I'll make a separate video about this. It works quite well, but this again is the one inch aluminum, and initially I'm going to take her down to 960, but I'll take a couple scratch cuts so that I get into the ballpark. I won't show all of that. I have already taken one light cut, and this is again set at 960, and I can force it over but it's way too tight a fit. So now I'm going to just try to sneak up on the dimension a little bit at a time and I'm not even going to look at my graduated collar as I do that. Okay, I'm getting close to the dimension. I can feel it dragging. Now there are some out there that are going to say this is dangerous. You should not do this while the machine is running. And some people will say, well, it's just fine. But do be careful while the machine is running. If, you, if you're a little afraid, turn the machine off. Just a little tight. Remember, this is 960. I feel that I'm about there. And I have not used the micrometer yet, so what I'm going to do now is back off. And I'm going to reset this off camera, set the caliper, for 950. Remember it was 960, so that's just my roughing cuts. Okay, I've reset the calipers for 950. Just a very light drag. And I'm going to advance the cross feed just a little bit. Okay, I like the feel. No, I don't. Now that I stop it, it's a little tight. I'm going to take one more pass. Off camera. Okay. 
Okay, that feels real good. So now for the first time, out comes the micrometer. I'm looking for 950. Let's see what I got. Well, I'm not real satisfied. I am under. I am at 947. So that's my first try and I'm within three thousandths. But again, not satisfied. So now I'm going to use the 900 thousandths gauge block and see how close I can get it to 900 thousandths. So here's the 900 thousandths gauge block along with the 10 thousandths. So my caliper is set for 910. 910. Now I'm going to do that off camera and we'll see what we come up with. It'll, I'll take several passes as I did on the previous one. Okay. I'm at 910. I feel that I'm at 910 according to the caliper. Now I will reset the caliper for 900 using this gauge. Be right back. 900 thousandths with a caliper and I'm going to work up to it taking short trial cuts and measuring. It feels like it's about there, so I will take the micrometer. I'm looking for 900 thousandths now. Amazing. I don't believe it. I am right on. So the method works quite well, doesn't it? So on the second trial, on my learning curve here, I was right spot on, and I'm not cheating because some of this I know I did offline. So now maybe I'm going to have second thoughts. Maybe this is a precision instrument, not semi-precision. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not going to start using it, but it was a fun little experiment. It might be something that you want to do, and there might be some of you out there that do not have micrometers, but you can have a $1 calipers. And you do not need gauge blocks. This is really overkill because over in Pakistan they don't either. So you can just use a piece of stock of the known size. So hope you found that interesting. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now.